So since I'm already running late for work, I figured I would take a second and get this intro out for this video. Hey lovers, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, I am Tassie. This is my channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so that you get a notification every time I upload a new video. So today this video is about these twists that I have in my hair. This style was inspired by Jay Marie. She did hers a little different. Um, and I really was going for an upper bun, but since I didn't adjust the hair in the beginning to make it narrow at the ends, I cannot get a bun because it's too thick and too full. But I am going to show two ways of how I installed these twists in my hair in this video. I installed the back one way because it was easier and for the front, I did it with the braid at the base. So you'll see that, but this is the rubber band method. If you want to see how I achieve this look, please keep watching. Okay, just as a disclaimer, my voice is kind of raspy, not sure what that's about. But here's my hair. These are my parts. I know, a little janky, but it is what it is. The front is braided at the base, as I previously stated. And the back is twisted regular. I am going to show the ends of this hair because I was having a hard time getting it to look like something. But that's okay because I plan to bun it. I did use two different types of Marley hair. One of the types I used was the Noir brand definitely do not recommend that brand it is very dry and very rough so what i plan to do is show how i did the two methods um up close and my hair is super moisturized right now i use the manuka honey by shea moisture curling crank so what i'm doing now is sliding the rubber band up a little bit so that i can get the needle and the hair all the way through the section of hair and start twisting So once the hair is all the way through, I split the twist into two sections and then I pull tight to make the section lay flat and look neat. And I pull the hair into two pieces so that I can have two pieces to twist with. I did see that some people left the twist whole, which I felt like was kind of bulky and it didn't look as neat and clean. While I twist, I also twist my wrist to give it a more unified, neat look. Okay, so for the second method, I took the twist that was already in the rubber band and again, I separated it so that I could have um, that twist be one of the legs and I just wrapped the Marley hair around the rubber band to make two legs and use my natural hair as the third leg and I braided it down maybe about um, five or six times to make sure it was really in there and then I just started twisting. So after I finished my twist, I just went through with my Jamaican black castor oil and oiled my scalp. I tried to style these twists in this top bun so many times, but I just could not get it for anything. Trust me, y'all. I tried everything. Eventually, I did get the high bun, which you probably already saw in my Charleston vlog, but I am going to insert a clip right here so that y'all can see that I did eventually get the high bun. So here is my high bun photo. Yes, yeah, I was looking super cute. So after I finished my twist, I did uh, lay my edges. If you know, you know, them edges are laid. And I was able to get it in a nice low bun. Now this low bun I wore for work um, because I felt like it was much more professional 
than my top bun. So I got it in a low bun and it looks really cute. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell, stay tuned for more videos, and thanks for watching.